2012, this band was started 32 years ago, and uh, you were the man at the helm at yeah. the time when things got going. Tell us a little bit about how things got kicked off. Got kicked off? Well, uh, there was a group of us, and, and interesting, we were all uh, pretty much graduates of the, the University of Western Ontario faculty music, uh, and we gravitated this area. We were looking for something that, that fed us just a little bit more. Um, the community bands, as they were at that, that uh, state of the game, uh, just weren't quite making it. So what was formed as a result uh, of those thoughts in the, in the fall of 1980 uh, was the fact that we could put a 32, 34-piece wind ensemble together. We knew enough people. So we got Crazy Bob Stevenson from Toronto, and we got the Royal City Sax Quartet, and uh, we put uh, some very good clarinet players and flute players together. And, such and uh, even father and son of percussion and uh, started rehearsals in January of 1981. We went through a transition uh, with, with several guest conductors. I remember Bob Rison was one of those and just did a fabulous concert with us. An old friend of mine, Bob uh, Emerson, who has uh, been a long time musician yeah, in this area, uh, did several, uh, uh, they were like wine and cheese kind of concerts. They were very casual concerts, uh, very much like Bob. But the group was based it's called the Wellington Winds, and the group was based in Guelph. It was based in Guelph. So the Wellington Winds was, was uh, I'll take uh, bad credit for that or however it maybe deserved, uh, because we were based in Wellington County, right. and so the Wellington Winds had this degree of alliteration. English is my minor, sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> so, so therefore, that you know, Wellington yeah, Winds, tell. and everybody <laughs> thought that was great. I was very interested in the Wellington Winds because I had just started the Elora Festival, and was moving on to something else. And the program of music, at the faculty of music at Laurie, whilst it was a faculty, it was tiny. We had very little. And we decided we needed to have a band. And I was it as a wind player and having played in bands earlier on in my career. And so the Wellington Winds was an opportunity to practice what I needed to know in order to do a really good job with the university. And I began to realize that there's a very important repertoire here and that there's something that's quite different than the professional world of music, which we all aspire to doing. Even if you're in uh, a university situation, there's still that feeling. You want to be playing in, in the local orchestra or, or whatever. But I realized that in fact, these community groups are really the bedrock of music making and I was interested in exploring what they could do. So we began and always have played very difficult music, sometimes difficult music for the audience, but it's that that keeps the group together. When you come together with a group like this, no one's being paid. People are there because they want to be paid. they want to be there. They want to play music, like you said. The motivation is pure. It's pure uh, in the, the 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 word amateur doing it for the love of it and that's why they're there and that's invigorating I mean it, it is when you stand on the podium and you're conducting and you know that people are there because they want to be there and they want it to get better they want it to be good they want it to uh, it's the way that they uh, express themselves you know they have the day jobs and they do other things but when they come here it's 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 that side of them that uh, that they get to let loose and 